we only want this small this mountain for is about how we apply decision model or other models on our data uh, to recap my project is about how is the haze impact the singapore tourism stock price and to also investigate other value like uh, gdp growth rate and number of tourist arrival how this variable affect the stock price data uh, top five stock uh, tourism stock in singapore will identify which is in Gunting singapore singapore airline mandarin oriental escort resistant trust and hotel properties uh, their daily historical stock price will extract from online and weightage will assign based on their market capitalism and we are going to run our model in SaaS enterprise before we run this is the data the PSI, uh, we have the data from 2009 until 2019 and the PSI reading represents the haze situation in Singapore and we have weighted average stock price which we calculated uh, based on weightage I mentioned just now and the number of tourist arrival and the year-on-year -year GDP growth rate and I also uh, and I also assign one column uh, has trend which show that the trend of the uh, stock price if the stock price increase uh, Value one will be assigned. If the stock price remain unchanged or zero, the or decrease, value zero will be assigned. And then this data uh, will normalize using uh I'm data minus the uh, mean of that column and divide by the standard deviation of that column. So after we have our data, we can upload to uh, SaaS Enterprise. After we upload, uh I we can use replacement tool to replace those unfavorable value. With uh maybe replace with missing value or you can replace with the value that you would like. In my case, I replaced the extreme percentile value with missing, and after I replace, I I run and I get the result as below. In my case, there is not the in my data sets there is no uh data with extreme percentile value, so we can see there is no replacement value here. So after we replace those values that we don't want or we change it to other value and then I come to impute to to replace the missing value with the mean data with the mean of that category so I run and I got the result as below uh, I have three missing value in total which is one from the uh, tourist arrival column and then another one is the year-on-year -year GTP growth and it will it will be replaced by this variable IMP, uh, variable IMP of the variable name. So after we replace the missing value, we can start to uh, split our data to 50% of the training data set and 50% for another validation data set. So we run and we get the result as below. There are total 44 observations in my data, so 22 will be treated as trained data and another 22 will be will be trained uh, will be treated as validation sample. So after we run our data participate partition, we can now uh, run our decision tree models. In our case, we will run interactive uh, decision tree models. Mm, this is the interactive tree decision tree models. And we can split the node based on the information gain of the variable. You can see that the PSI uh, reading have the has the highest uh, information gain, so we apply this uh, split node. So uh, after we apply, we can check what is the second uh, split node, and then we found that um, the market data uh, stock price have the second highest uh, split node, but because that is our target variable, so we will change it to our total international uh, tourist arrival data has our second split node. So after we apply this split node, uh, we can see that there is no longer any split node we can apply. So this is our decision tree models, and we can assess that whether this uh how is the how is this how good is this decision tree models, and we can see that from this sub tree assessment uh plot, uh. The tree with the one leaf is the best uh, decision tree models because here we can see that when there is more and more leaf, uh, the trend and validation error is getting bigger. So after we done our decision tree, now we can run, um, we, I will go for the another model which is regression models. 
So we run the regression model. And this is the result of the regression model. We can see that um, the mean of the predicted value and our, the mean of our target value is actually quite close for the trend data and uh, even though for validation data there is some fluctuation but actually they are quite close also and the output of the regression is here we can see that um, the mean square error is quite low and the f statistic is quite low also that means that this model overall can predict the variable well and R square will show that uh, there is a high value of uh, 70% which means that 70% uh, 70, 70 of variance in the stock price data can be explained by the can be predicted by the independent variables like the PSI rating data or the growth rate of the GDP growth rate and here is the individual uh, P value uh, how it related to the stock price uh, changes um, we can see that uh, the p value of um, international tourist arrival and also GGP go rate is quite low, which is less than a five percent significant level. We show that it's significant uh, correlated with the stock price data, but the PSI reading is greater than a five percent significant level. We show that it's not so statistically significant correlated to the uh, stock price data. Uh, besides using SAS Enterprise, I also use the Python to see the to plot the correlation matrix, which the result is here. We can see that um, for the stock price data is it is negative correlated with the visitor arrival and also the PSI reading, but it's positively relation is positively related to the uh, GTP growth rate. That means that uh, whenever there's an increase in GTP growth rate, the stock price will also increase, which is quite makes sense. And here is the correlation plot. Um, the dark purple it means that negative correlated, and the yellow or green color means that it's posit positively related with the stock price data. So after we done our uh, models, I also do some analysis on how is the um, public sentiments uh, react to the haze phenomenon. Uh, I extract the trick data and here is and here how is the how people comment about haze. We extract the tricks message that contain haze or jerobu or this kind of words and then I analyze I categorize these tricks uh, to three categories which is a uh, positive trick they contain the, also the positive comment, negative comment and also neutral uh, trick with uh, neutral emotion. And surprisingly, that uh, half of the trick are uh, neutrals, and then forty one percent of the trick are positive, and only nine percent, nine point seven two percent are negative, because the tricks that we uh, extract is near to the end of September, which means the haze phenomenon is almost gone already. Uh, that's why uh, most of the tricks are more to positive or neutral uh, sentiment. I also use Python to run the work cloud. Uh, on the comments, you can see that uh, for the word cloud for positive comment, we can see the word like HIGMA, uh, become uh, appreciate these kind of words uh, because they are feel better or they are actually sarcastic on this phenomenon. But the Python capture it has a positive comment. Uh, but for negative comment, um, it contain words like words brief, these kind of words, uh, which contribute to about 9% of this negative comment and then most of the new comments are neutral we having the words like drive around joke friends which don't have any uh, emotion and we also run, I also run some polarity scores sentiment sentiment polarity score on the tweets and which is uh, we show that most of the score are between 0 to 0 0.1 which is uh, a neutral uh, which is neutral and show that the comments contain uh, no positive or negative comments and this, da this um, data is skews to the right which is more to positive side and is matched to our um, 
category of the pie chart just now. So um, that's all about my um, present today. Thank you.